Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Ben Lyons. I'm very excited and humbled to be here today to moderate this conversation around the new film Samaritan. The movie comes out exclusively on Prime Video August 26th. We're delighted to be joined by some of the cast members here today. Joining us right now, Javon Wana Walton. Nice to see you, sir. How are you? Congratulations. Yeah, on the great. Film. Thank you so much. Nice to see you as well. Pilu Aspect joins us as well. Nice to see you, Pilu. Thank you for spending some time. Thank you for having me. And we are moments away from Dasha Polanco joining us as well. But gentlemen, I start with you and, and I want to ask. Oh, fashionable late. That yes, is fashionable you, late. you got to be a little bit casual and cool. I, shoot, I just texted her. So <laughs> <laughs> when she gets here, she'll be right on time, no doubt. Um, and also for everyone watching too uh, around the world, we appreciate you being here. Please send us some questions. We'll get to those throughout the next 30 minutes of this conversation. But guys, I want to start with you by asking this. Where was the first time you heard about Samaritan and what was it about the project that initially grabbed your attention? Juana? Oh, man, um, I think, let me, let me answer the first part, what really grabbed my attention. I, I think what really grabbed my attention is, um, God, being able to work with Sly on such an amazing project is what really grabbed my attention. You know, um, he is super big in the boxing world and knowing that I'd have somebody on set that I could talk boxing with made me happy for sure. You know, so I love that. That's what really grabbed my attention and really just growing up watching Rocky, you know, that, that part, man. But yeah, that, that's really what got my attention and um, how I first heard about it is just auditioning for it. Uh, that's, that was really the start of it. So. The old, the old Hollywood way. Yeah. P. Lou, what about you? I know you've worked with Julius many times now, so someone tells me you had a little insider info, but what was it about the project of the world of Samaritan that was very intriguing, you think? I, I, I got to agree. I got to agree. Juana, it was uh, working with Sly and to work with Juana and to, of course, work with Julius Avery again, because we did Overlord uh, a few years back prior, prior to Samaritan. And uh, I actually think the first time I heard about the project was Julius talking about, I think we were out having beers or something, you know, casually on a Wednesday in LA. And he was, uh, he was just like, I, I, I have this film, but they want a very good actor or they want a big name for the, the, the role that, that I think you would be great in. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine, man. We don't, you know, I hate being one of those guys pitching myself for jobs, et cetera. It's, it's not very, um, it's not very attractive, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so, uh, what well, you, you know what I mean? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. But it's, it's you want to be you. You know, it's uh, you want to kiss with the girl who wants to kiss with you, or you want to kiss with the person who wants to kiss with you, right? And 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 then all of a sudden, Julius calls me, and I'm shooting another film called Run Sweet at Run, which is actually also going to be on Amazon Prime uh, later this year around uh, Halloween. Uh, telling me hey, they didn't pick the other guy. I hope it's going to be you. And I was like, I still don't know shit about this film. So what is it about? And he's like, you're the baddie. And I'm like, can he be a good person for once? And he's like, okay, let's say he's a good person, but he's misunderstood. He's a bad person, but misunderstood. Yeah. So I heard about it in a hotel room in the middle of nowhere while shooting another film. It was very specific. <laughs> And, and then you find yourself on set in this in, incredible world. It's it's high action, obviously some physical moments for the both of you. Uh, Wana, you talked about being a boxing fan. Well, you ever done training for something like this? Talk well, to me. I, I I am a boxer. It's, yeah, it's, no, I know. I got I got eighty bouts. So oh, I've yeah. it my whole life, you know, um, not all it's the natural. different to train for a physical action movie than to train for a bout, I would imagine. I, I mean, yeah, the certain movements are, yeah, for sure. Like when you're throwing a punch, it's not like a real punch you would throw in boxing. It's um, it's a bit more wide and a little, it, it, it's, it's, it's a movie punch, you know, and you have to pull back aggressively to make sure the action looks right. And um, yeah, it's definitely a little interesting. Yeah. Pilu, for you, uh, as someone who's been in physical roles before, how are the action sequences this time around? A little different? But I, it was pretty spectacular in making this film because it is a very physical film. Um, I'm not I'm not an incredible physical guy like Juana or Sly. You can see nah, too. man, you're great at that kind of stuff, man. No, but yeah, but I, I'm great at growling. <laughs> I'm great at being like, or, or something like that. But But the physical work, I, what was something I noticed was that at one point you have to, when you do 
like want to say, when you're punching on screen, it's got to be slower because slow is fast on camera. Yeah. And you've got to be a little bit wider because, and you've got to punch through the face because yeah. you've got to see it. And then you cannot pull too fast back as you would do in the boxing world because we're not going to see it. Wana can punch the person so fast, none of us is going to be able to see. We've got to see it in super slow motion to see him. That's how he's, that's how good he is. And I've seen it live. So I can, you know, uh, it's incredible. Um, but the thing is, the thing is, it, it, it's, it's movies. It's fake. It's not real. But the days when you blow up a house or a building or a car, those are the cool days. Yeah, those are very real days on set. Absolutely. Uh, and there's a few of those days, I would imagine, on a movie like this. Uh, Juana, are there, uh, is there a similar feeling when you have a big fight? You mentioned the 80 bouts you've been a part of as a boxer. And it's just you and, and, and your, your opponent in that ring. And then there's a day on set when you're going toe to toe with a pilu or with a sly. And there's there similar types of butterflies or feelings that you can correlate between the two experiences. Honestly, I I think there is. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's pretty similar. Like um, with both, you definitely have uh, with both. You definitely have a little bit of um, almost like an adrenaline rush, you know, because you want to be perfect. You wanted um you wanted to end up the way you wanted it. It can't ever be perfect. You know, you can only do the best you can do, but um, really it, it's that adrenaline rush that um, gets to you for both hundred percent. And it, it is a similar feeling for both boxing and acting. They're similar in the ways that you have to apply the same amount of work ethic. You know, they're both very hard things to do at a very high level and um, they both take a lot of skill. So, yeah. Introduce us to your Can character. Can I add something? Oh, yeah, go for it. Jump on in. I, I think, I think, I also think what Juan is saying is so correct because it's like the work, the work ethics is so, you know, when you're shooting a film, we're working 17, 18 hours a day. No one thinks that, but you are with traffic and makeup and rehearsals and everything. It's a very long process. But I, what I admire about what Juan did in this film is he, 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 it's like a film we did three years ago you know it's a young kid now I'm sitting with a young man and it's incredible and mind-blowing and I fucking love it but the thing is that the discipline and the brutality we went through Wana didn't complain no one complained once you were just if you got hit for real you got up you did it again and that's what I kind of like so we brought in this boxing attitude to this film also because it's sly and with rocky and everything but i i loved it because it's you know it was I mean, oh, I mean, how old were you when we were shooting the film i was 13 when I was, 13 when I was... but no one treated you as a 13 year old everyone treated you as as a, your colleague you know yeah. what i mean no 100 percent and that's the character too. The character is a kid, but he's in the real world and no one's treating him like a child. So talk to me a little bit about your character, where we find him when the story begins and what his motivation is throughout the film. 100%. No, yeah. Um, I play Sam. Um, he lives with his single mom and he's kind of torn between two different worlds of good and evil. And he's like on this quest to find Samaritan. But he he doesn't know what's right for him. He's a little lost. You know, he hasn't really found that father figure yet um, for him to help him out. He's super street smart. Um, he's just a smart kid in general. And, and he's going to go through a lot of crazy stuff. But yeah, kind of going back to that, like um, torn between two different worlds. Um, I feel like at the end, he ends up uh, finding himself a little more. And you guys will see that. And um, the bonds between the people he meets along the way, it's it's really special. So Pilu, you mentioned your character isn't bad. He's just misunderstood. I often hear actors say that when playing the bad guy. But who is this guy? What's his deal? Where did you begin to put him together when you do get the part and you start to sink your teeth into it? For me, it started out, you know, you can create something from the inside out, a character from the inside out, which is a classical Stanislavski method, which is the method acting in America, but it's not out in Russia, etc. I'm just being smart about acting right now and historical correct but that's a different story um cyrus is a very much a character that's from the outside in so you create the physical world of the character you create 
the looks of him, uh, the feeling of him, the tattoos, the jacket, the gun, the coloring of the hair, the, the uh, earrings, piercings, all these elements you bring together. But I've done a few villains. And at one point, you might not always find it so extremely entertaining. Hey! Does Hi, it Hi, Juana. What's up, Hi, how you doing? Hi, everyone. How you, you doing? Great. You look great. Uh, as advertised, right on time. Nice to see you. How are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, how's everybody doing? We have a movie coming out. Hilu was just Hello. sharing some stories of how he put together this badass dude that he plays throughout this. No, movie. no, let's have it. That's a, it was awesome. I loved it. It's always fun to do a badass. How you uh, doing? I'm good. It was amazing to work with Pilu and Juana. Pilu was one scary dude. One scary dude. I mean, I did my own stunts and I had to defend my child and it was challenging, but I got through it. it we got through it. Fun for sure. Well, Dasha, everyone talked about a big reason why, obviously, they signed up for the World of Samaritan was to go opposite Sylvester Stallone, uh, a legend on screen. And you have many moments with Sly in, in this film. Talk to me a little bit about what you expected going into it and then maybe how your impressions of, of working with him maybe have changed now that you've done a movie together. Um, well, Sylvester Stallone, um, I mean, come on. Like, first of all, uh, Cobra, Over the Top, The Rock, and so on. So many, so many of his legendary um, uh, projects that he's been part of and part of me growing up um, and then being part of a project across playing him was something that, you know, I had to really embrace at the moment. Working along Pilu as well and working with Juana was an experience that I did. I, I went in with no expectations, but I left throughout this whole trajectory and throughout everything that was going on in the world, I was able to say that the cast was gracious. Um, we were kind and generous to each other. So the job, although there was a lot of logistics going on with the bombs and everything else, you know, and setting up the environment for the film, besides that, it was just a pleasure and pure joy to work along all these um, actors. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, I must say, um, it was very safe to work with him. And um, inside I was geeking, but outside I was ready and professional <laughs> and willing to, you know, use my chops as well. Juana, you and uh, Sly have some great moments throughout this film, as do you and, and Dasha playing your mom in, in this piece. Talk to a little bit about some of the stuff maybe you did offset to work on that you know, mother-son relationship. Ooh, okay. So um with me and Dasha offset, uh, let me let me just start off by saying um she would make me laugh a lot in between takes. And <laughs> it, it was really about us getting to know each other at first and you know, um getting comfortable with each other. I mean, she even came to my house, we went to top uh top golf, like we did certain things to build that bond and chemistry between us, and that's that's what made it, it come out so good on camera, I think. This is a uh, question from Clement Casso, who asks of everyone, what makes this superhero movie different from all the franchises we've seen the past few years? It's not a franchise. Not a franchise. <laughs> it's an original also, story. It's, it's, you know, there's not, there's many heroes in the film and you'll get to see um, that uh, play throughout the story where, you know, the child, Juana, my son is, seeking that kind of heroic and that that um uh, that mentor that we when we're kids we need right and so we have that aspect of heroism and then you have the mother as a hero as well and then you have pilo even though he's antagonistic he also plays a hero in the sense within his world so the the sense of superhero as we've seen it um in in this film is more um is more i, I want to say realistic and more, uh, yeah. you can connect to more with the relationships that are established. And kind of like what you're saying, like it's not about like superheroes wearing capes, you know, it's right. like, it's, it's the grittiness of it all and um, the crazy moments between, it's really just like, it's it's a dark twist to superhero, superhero films that um, we haven't really experienced yet. So you guys will see the grittiness of it all that y'all y'all will see the, um, it's just really not about superheroes wearing capes and that kind of stuff, you know. So. 
<laughs> and one more, one more thing. Can I add yeah, something? Jump in. It's, it's kind of wonderful. First of all, I love DC. I love Marvel. I love Star Wars. I love all those kind of films because we cannot make that in Europe. We don't have the visions or the budget to create those kind of films. So we like those American big films. But I was watching this superhero film. I'm not going to say anything, but I was watching it. And I've not seen a lot of hero films the past years because, you know, when you have a nine-year-old daughter, you're watching Pixar and Disney. You know, you're watching animations and stuff like that. So I didn't understand a word of what they were saying or doing and why they were fighting that guy and flying over there. And is there a universe to a universe to a universe? I'm like, holy, you know, you know what I mean? This film, and I'm not trash talking the other films because I love those films. But this film you can watch because it's a standalone film. This is the story starts and ends within two hours yeah i love that and i kind of like that well said this question is from tim lammers from looper.com wants to know uh since sam is such a physical role with some fight moves required did sylvester stallone ask for any tips or did you ask sly for any tips on how to get through some of the more physical moments man we didn't really like ask each other for tips or anything like that uh it wasn't really like that but it was like kind of just fun like one of the things you'll see i'll be throwing a little bit of um some punches you know and you you'll see me move around with sly a little bit but he he can box a little bit too man so it wasn't really about like the tips of it all and all that um he's just like a boxing historian he knows his stuff so you know we we just really talked about boxing a lot well, that's what's got to be fun for you, having some downtime on set. Yeah, you can ask well, him about the films, but you can really talk some boxing with him as well and be able to talk both. I mean, you guys have a kind of a special, I would imagine, relationship in that you're both so well-versed in both of those worlds. Very rare to come across that in somebody. So just when we were on set, you're making those, you know, scenes with him and you're doing those scenes and shooting them. You talked about the, ex you know, the excitement going into it. What does he do from an actor's point of view that really makes you realize, oh, okay, this is why he's been able to do this at such a high level for so long? I think it's really his improv. You know, he, he's not afraid to expand on what he has in front of him, you know, and being able to watch that and pick up on that a little more. I mean, shoot, everybody was amazing, though. Pilu was amazing. Dasha was amazing. Y'all's acting ability is just phenomenal. And I got to learn a lot from everybody. Very cool. Yeah, I must say, Ben. Oh, jump in. Um, I'd say just to piggyback off of Juana said, one of the things that I did notice working along all these actors was the emotional availability that there was while making this film through the action, through the conversations offset. But most importantly, when you're making a film that's such um, action driven, sometimes the emotion um, is not really uh what we're focused on but for this film there was a lot of passion behind mm -hmm. it yeah I mean, so seeing one now i mean his voice i don't know pilu but i i'm like wait this is not the, the this is not wana that i was working with two years ago i mean like who is this kid right i mean you i've seen you grown into this young man and to hear you like i remember the scenes that we've had where you were you, you were going back and forth and over it. And it was like late nights and you were committed to it. And that's what you see throughout the film. A lot of commitment, passion, but the emotional availability transcends through it. 100%. Can I add something? It's sometimes you're very, very lucky to be in a set with a lot of talent. Sometimes you're, Sometimes you're just so thankful because this job can be very lonely. You, you travel the world and you sit in a hotel room and you miss your family. But sometimes you meet some people who are very generous, very sweet, very given. People who introduce you to their families, invite you home or invite you out. People you connect with. I'm not saying we're sitting on each other's laps for the past few years, not only because of COVID, et cetera, but you know, we interact on social media, we talk, we, 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 we swap infos and stuff like that. But what I love, and I'm piggybacking the other two now, is that the generosity that came, that we were each other's safety net, that even though, let's say, you, 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 you had an impulse and you wanted to go with this impulse, and this might have been the worst fucking act, sorry, this might have been the worst acting in the history of acting, 
But these other guys said it was, hey, it's cool. It's awesome. I'm going to bounce on it and I'm going to bounce off and etc. When you feel that safety net and you feel that safe in a safe work environment, acting slash boxing is the best job in the world because you're playing around with friends you like to be with. Very cool when it comes around and it sounds like it did on this one for all of you because it's rare in this business. Um, this is a question. And, 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 and it starts on top. It starts yeah. with Sly. It starts with him being super generous with himself. You, you ask Juana, did he give you any tips? Um, I didn't get any boxing tips because that was not our connection. He gave me some golf tips. <laughs> So he didn't give me golf tips. He Man, improved I my totally skin. forgot about that. He no, we it, it was a lot of um random. You remember tips. that day when we were, we were he like, was like, like he was like, okay, so how do you hold a golf club? And I held it and he was like, No, that's that's not how you do it. No. So and you have like a hundred people waiting for us to shoot the scene. He's like, No, 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 wait, wait, this is very important. You hold the club like this, yeah. You gotta go like this. You know, <laughs> every day on set, bro. Every day, when I was like, "Okay, look up his boxer," he'd be like, "Hey Siri, what is Oscar De La Hoya?" Yeah. <laughs> I love how they're all. <laughs> I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. Hey, yo, you want to do a? You want to do a? Um, I would talk to him about like all his other movies, and I would try to like put my two cents of like, I could box a little here and there, but it was just me wanting to hear him speak. Like we had a scene where he has to, you know, he has to like check to see if I'm okay. And I'm like on the floor or whatever. So he checks to see if I'm okay. And I just, <laughs> I was like, I'm not okay. But to have Sylvester take a moment to like say, are you okay? Are you okay? It's just, it's just blind. It's, it just blows your mind. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. what else can you ask for? So funny. It, it was it was so fun on set, man. And like going back to the chemistry thing, like when you don't have that on set, it's really hard to go there for certain scenes. But we all cared about each other so much. And we also keep in touch, like P. Lou was saying. So it made it a lot easier. And you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sylvester Stallone. I mean, that's Hell incredible. Yeah. Hell um, yeah. Let's get another question from some of the journalists. I have, I have one funny slide story I have to tell. Yeah, share with the class. Share with the class. Wait, when I got the job, when I got the, when I got the offer after, like, I don't know, some conversations. And I did actually, I didn't do an audition, but I did a Skype audition where I was reading some of the lines. It was weird, but it was fun. Uh, my team got a phone call. And I don't know if it's true, but they've told me this is true. And it was Sly who called. And he went like this. Yeah, dude, dude. tell people you got the rule. <laughs> tell people, tell people, hit the gym. And then he hung up. <laughs> That's not motivation. That was right a there. good sign. But I think we all nailed our sign impressions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. but I love, so I want to make a T-shirt where it says, hit the gym. <laughs> That's, that might Bye, take it off. That might think well great, shirt that says, hit the gym, we all got to wear it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brad yeah. from Screen Rant wants to ask everyone, what was your favorite moment or memory from the making of Samaritan? Is there one day or sequence that stood out for you all? I got to <laughs> say, I, oh, wait, sorry, man. No, it's you okay. You want to take it away? Okay. Uh, it's always difficult to pick one from the other because often the days when you have to work for it, you know, some days you're just blessed from above. The scene is good. You don't have, really have to put in a lot of work. It's just there. The chemistry, the magic, everything happens by itself. Those days you have a tendency to be thankful for, but you kind of forget them. The days you have to work hard. And one of the days we were working the hardest was actually the scene Wana mentioned was in an elevator. elevator him and me yeah. screaming at each other. I was and gonna... we were fighting, fighting. There, there was two guys just like, and I was, you know, we were, you know, it was difficult. And I kind of loved that scene because it was just, it was just two buddies doing what they loved the most. They were just being present. And then on the rooftop, when I tried to kidnap um, Dasha's kid, I, lo I love that as well, because that setting was just amazing. In the middle of Atlanta, on a rooftop, I think it was one of the first days we were shooting. Cold. All of us. Raining. Yeah. 
Um, you know, Pilu, that is the the moments that we were all on set also stand out for me. Yeah. Um, the one where we were on the roof when we were at the shop when we're running for the elevator and I have to run with Juana. That was a yeah. whole elevator. Oh my God. And it's like, come on, come on. We had to go and the screaming. I mean, I, I was able to perform a lot of my own stunts. Um, and I take pride in that. God, there was a lot of stunts. Right. Especially the roof scene where we have to, I have to battle these four men and save yeah. my son and, and get, you know, I don't want to give away too much, but the point is that there was a lot of intense action days where we were all on set and that hard work throughout our surroundings and all, and all the um, adversities that we were going on in the world, we still managed to kind of push through and get the job done. And for me that the film, the heroism and the resilience that it took behind the scenes, it's kind of like the thematic topic and, and and point of the film, you know, the resilience throughout and the belief and in, in going forward. Yeah, I got I got two favorites. Okay. Um like I love the days when I was working with y'all. Absolutely love those. My favorite one with that was working with Pilu. No offense to you, Dasha, with the elevator scene. I fucking love that. I, I love that scene. That was like that was one of my um favorite scenes. It was it was so intense and we had to bring so much out of each other in that, you know, and we were just working off of each other so well in that. And man, that was that was a special scene for sure. And then um one of my other favorite ones is when I was by myself in the rain. Um, it was so cold too. So, so cold. I, I was, um, we had like the the rain machines and all that. And I was spray painting the um, Samaritan logo on, what was it? Like, like a big uh, garbage can. Like, I love yeah. that. Like, it was just like such a special moment to like have that. And it was, I think, um, yeah, I think it was like in the mid of all production, you know, and then like uh, going back inside and going to the blow dryer to stay warm. Like those were tough days because you don't want to be in a big outfit in the rain for like hours on end, you know, because it was always like, OK, this is the last one. OK, no, this is the last one. OK, this is the last one. It was always that. So it was like that was like one of my favorite moments for sure. It's wild. You, you guys are reflecting on this film. And like you said, you made it several years ago. And, and why don't you think about your life and, and where it's gone since then, the success you've had with Euphoria, and Umbrella Academy, Pilu was singing your praises. He just checked out the series. Like what's going on in your life now? And you look back at when you made this film and now the film's coming out. Talk to me about the timing of when these things come out because it's so out of your control, but it seems like you're in a great place and having a really cool moment right now. No, I'm, I, man, I, I feel great. I just like, I'm, I'm so glad to connect with these guys again, man. Like this was like my very first featured film and to be able to just talk to them again and like um, share that special moment again is just it, it's it's really something special, you know, because we put so much work into this and um, it's just nice to have that moment again. And it's a moment in your life that's captured now on film. Um, and I look forward to seeing what all of you continue to do in, in your careers and wish you all a lot of success. Congratulations on this. The film is available exclusively on Prime Video August 26th at Samaritan. And we appreciate the time. Thanks so much for sharing some stories with us. Of course. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!